Hey guys, welcome back to Free Software Tips. So today I'll be showing you another tutorial on how you could fix the Call of Duty Warzone random crashes on Windows 10. So let's get started. So first we're going to update our graphics driver and make sure that we are installing the game ready drivers for our particular um, graphics card. So go ahead and open up your browser and I'll put this um, respective links on the description if you're using amd just go to this um, amd.com forward slash en forward slash support and uh, select your appropriate graphics card and uh, hit the submit button and it will take you to your download page if you are um, on the nvidia or using a nvidia graphics card i'll just put this link on the description again and uh, select again your appropriate um, graphics card and your um, operating system that you're using and make sure that it's set to a game ready driver and then uh, go ahead and proceed to search and download it and install it on your computer and then afterwards you can go ahead and check if um, Call of Duty Warzone still crashes randomly and if it does still crash once in a while you could go ahead and go to our start menu and look for Windows Update and click here the uh, Windows Update settings and make sure to install the latest updates on Windows by clicking on the check for updates button right here if you haven't um, checked for any updates but if you already had just click the install now or uh, install all updates on Windows so uh, the next thing that we can do is clear the cache of Blizzard Entertainment folder on the program data so we're going to go ahead and open up a file explorer right here and on the um, address bar, type in percentage sign program data percentage sign. And look for the Blizzard Entertainment folder. Look for the Battle.net folder. You'll be able to see a cache folder right here. Select everything that's in here and um, make sure to delete them. Close that one and check again if uh, the game now works. If it still doesn't work, you can go ahead and go to this um, file explorer again. Right click on your PC right here. You click the properties. It will take you to this system page or um, panel. And click the um, advanced system setting. And then um, on the advanced tab, click on the performance um, settings. And hit the advanced button again right there. And for the total paging file size of all drives, click the change um, option and if you have this set to automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck that one and set the drive where the game is located to um, 16,000 yeah once done hit the OK um, button and uh, if you see this one just simply hit the yes command which will override the um, current page file settings that's uh, particularly present on that particular drive and you'll have to restart your computer and see if that would work for you if it still didn't work we're going to go ahead and open up our battle.net um, launcher right here and uh, on the call of duty modern warfare click on the options button right here and there's a scan and repair option right here you can scan and repair and uh, it will find missing or crap files of the game and uh, repair it for you and uh, hopefully that would also fix your problem but if still it did not work you can go ahead and go to the options button and click on the game settings make sure uh, to type on this additional command line arguments check that one and type in d3 d11 which will force your um, game to run on DirectX 11 and make sure that you have DirectX 11 on your computer so once done you could go ahead and try open up your game so now that we have our game loaded up going to go to our um, options button right here and on the options button we're going to go to our um, graphics um, settings and scroll down until you see the um, 
direct x trace ray tracing if this one is enabled or available on your game you're using nvidia rtx technology you could go ahead and try to disable it since um it could also cause some issues with the modern wi-fi war zone so um go ahead and try that one and if still that doesn't work for you go ahead and scroll down until you see this restart shaders installation what this does is is that it would delete your shaders cache and try to reinstall all shaders from the start and hopefully those corrupted shaders will be fixed and um if still that doesn't work for you go ahead and minimize your game and right click on your um taskbar and open up a task manager and then go ahead and open up uh, the details tab and look for um, modern warfare that exe we have here the modern warfare that exe make sure to right click it and then set the priority to real time change the priority it would um, prioritize your game more than anything that's running on your desktop and uh, hopefully that would now fix everything that's um, causing the error or crashes on your game. So that's it guys. If this video helped you, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more helpful tutorials. This is Free Software Tips. Peace out.